In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Zero Shoes, the Mesa Trail, to the water shoes that I have on here and comparing those both to my Nikes that I have been wearing previously to this. So it's going to be fun. I'm running in the water shoes today. I'm gonna to run in the barefoot shoes tomorrow. And I'm gonna run in my Nikes on day three. We're gonna stack them all up side by side. Let's do this. All right, so that was concrete. Now we're doing the start. Initial thoughts. So I started in these, switched to the zero shoes. Now I just picked these up and went for a run again. And man, these are much, 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 much less secure on the feet, especially with the heel than the zero shoes. So right now there's a ton of mud on this trail as a consequence of it being April and rainy. When I step in this and want to pull, it wants to pull the heel off of the shoe. That would not be nearly as big of an issue with the zero shoes and have more of a secure heel. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm back in the Zero Shoes and uh, right away they're so much more secure. Once again off the concrete back on the loose dirt. So even though the water shoes are a cheap way to get a lot of the same benefits, these just feel so much better. So the first thing that I'm noticing is that the toe box on the Nikes is much narrower and much more restrictive than the toe box on the Zero Shoes. Once again, back on the dirt. Let me give you an illustration of the tiers of flexible shoes. So, water shoes, Nikes, zero shoes. First up, traditional Nikes. Pretty rigid shoes, fairly narrow toe box. Here we are with the proper zero barefoot shoes. These shoes are pretty flexible and they're getting more and more flexible the more I break them in. Um, they've also got a nice wide toe box. And surprisingly, the sole looks the same when you, when you put the sole side by side. But the thing to notice is that the sole on these shoes actually tapers out. And then the mesh upper tapers in, so you get this more restricted feel. Whereas this, the toe box connects to the outside of the sole. Uh, of the shoe, so it's just as wide as the sole, so you get that extra room back. At the absolute wimpiest is the water shoes, and these things, uh, you know, just super floppy. They've got the mesh upper, so you can see how that stretches. Yeah, way more flexible than the upper on these, which is actually rigid and durable. Um, these feel much more like a shoe. They're much more structured. The heel on here is really secure. They got this watch inspired strap on them that cinches up. So you've got the strap that goes here, goes through, connects up to here, and it actually pulls out through here or cinching the back of the shoe nicely around your heel. These are a sock effectively, and you can pop right out of that. What they have is they've got this cinch strap, but they only get so tight. Not the best by a long shot, but they get the job done. So these were about 25 bucks off of Amazon and they were great to kind of experiment and get into it and see, am I going to like wearing something that barely has this 
a sole. The barefoot shoes, they also have what they call trail foam. And this is really, really quite thin. Um, don't know if you can see that. Um, but that little bit of foam helps take out the rough edges in the trail that you really pick up on these. Um, so I really feel like I get the best of all worlds wearing these. I can go hiking in them. Um, I can go running in them. I'll wear them around doing whatever. You can see that they're dirty because you saw the trail running that I was just doing. It is worth mentioning that I needed to get new hiking boots. And so while I was very interested in getting the Mesa Trail, it was also the right time to buy. Uh, the hiking boots that I had been wearing for the past couple of years didn't quite fit right. And when I would step, my toes would jam into the end of the shoe. And it was quite painful. One hike, I stubbed my toes 50 times. I'll go from wearing the Mesa Trails to putting on a pair of dress shoes or putting on a pair of um, like traditional running shoes like Nikes and the amount of contact with the toes is significantly more and that rubbing was not very comfortable. The Mesa Trails have really helped in that way with that extra room in the toe box for giving my toes the space that they needed to heal. So conclusion, even though these things are 25 bucks on Amazon and they are a good intro so you can experiment and learn and see if this is something that you wanna do, these are so much more worth the money. They're about the same price as these. I think these are like 100 bucks or 120 bucks. My wife got them on sale for like 60 bucks. I got these on sale for about 80 bucks. Definitely worth the money. I love these shoes. I wanna try out some more Zero shoes in the future. I wanna try out the sandals. They also have a water shoe and uh, that would put this guy out of business. Stay tuned for that. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Bye.